Hello and welcome again to RC Model Reviews, part two of the wireless co-pilot review, I hope, because it's very, very windy outside and I've only got Barry as a cameraman today, so the um, results might not be as good as I would hope, but let's take a look. I'm going to take my AXN here, I'm going to put the wireless co-pilot in that, the transmitter section, and I'm going to set it up to an altitude alarm of 200 feet, which is actually lower than what we need here in New Zealand, our altitude maximum is 400, but uh, if I'm going to get anything on camera, it has to be a lower altitude because I don't think Barry's quite up to the uh, eyesight required for higher altitude filming. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to use the Tenergy 9X. Um, this is the Free Sky system. It's got a telemetry receiver in there, but I'm not using the telemetry at this stage except for um, weak signal where it beeps if you start running out of transmitter signal. Uh, so that's it. Let's get together. Let's get stuck in and let's make this thing work. So I'll just give you an idea of how easy or difficult, whichever you choose, it is to set this thing up. Now I want to set up an altitude alarm, so I'm going to set it up to 200 feet. According to the instructions, I hold down the select button while I connect up the transmitter power. This is a bit of a bodgy thing to do with two, with, you know, you need an extra pair of hands sometimes. Let's do that. On setting height. Okay, we're ready to set the height. And there's four digits from zero to, uh, what is it, um, 9999, I suppose. And you just press the button. See this flashing here, expecting the first digit? Zero. And then select okay. that. Now we're on to the second digit, which would be hundreds of feet. Zero, one, two. Okay. Now we're on to the third digit, tens of feet. Zero. Okay. And the last one, which is in feet. So it's the last, it's the, you know, zero to ten. Zero. Okay. Height two zero zero. So there we go. Set the on setting remaining. Okay, and it's set to uh, two hundred feet now, which that was fairly simple and painless thanks to the LEDs and the voice interaction. Now I'll select remaining on one zero zero percent remaining. Okay, so I have set it so that it's on. The altitude alarm is on, and it tells me we've got one hundred percent remaining. So that's because I'm at ground level. That's all that's required to change that and set it up. Pretty straightforward. The only thing I don't like is having to hold down a button while you plug in your lead because that can be a little bit ham-fisted if you're not ready. Okay, here we are. We're outside and the wind's blowing a gale. You can see I've got everything sort of bodged in here, just squeezed in. So if it works in here, it'll work anywhere. And I'll power it up and we'll go for a fly, see what happens. Righty-o, here we are. Got the AXN, got the thing now. Hopefully you'll be able to hear this over all the windy noise. When I move the throttle, it should enunciate to me. Six percent height. Six percent height. Let's go and fly, Barry. Now, hopefully, you'll be able to hear the alarm. I'll go up. Here we go, it alarmed at 200 feet, as it would be expected to do. I'll do that again. Pretty windy today. I'll go up to the alarm. It only gives the alarm once. It only gave the alarm once, which is probably not as good as I'd like, but I'll try it again. Let's go. Sixty-one feet. Let's climb to the alarm altitude. Here we go. So there we go. I'm sorry about the poor footage, but I hope you could have hear. I hope you could hear the 
the wireless co-pilot receiver talking during that, telling me when I was exceeding my 200 foot altitude alarm level. Now I was climbing very, very quickly, full throttle on the AXN. So by the time I got past 200 feet, it was sometimes it was 260 feet, whatever. And a couple of times I moved the throttle to trigger a actual uh, on demand telemetry readout, which said one stage I was 385 feet, which is still below the legal maximum. I'm <laughs> getting pretty good at judging the legal maximum because uh, I've used telemetry so much on these models, I know exactly what an AXN looks like at 400, oh, sorry, 399 feet, 11 and a half inches. So there you go, I've now got to do my out of tens, don't I? First of all, I'd say um, functionality out of 10, it's a good six and a half. It would be an eight and a half if it monitored the battery voltage of your LiPo, but it doesn't, so I can't give it any more points than six and a half, I'm sorry. It really does need, for me, if I was buying it, I really would want that voltage level readout. The battery capacity remaining is fine, providing your battery is in good condition, but if it's not, or if there's, a, if there's a, some other problem, then you won't know if your battery voltage is dipping dangerously low to the point where you could lose radio control. So that's something they really need to look at. Now, um, function, you know, how does it work? How well does it work? Well, it works exactly as advertised to the letter. I mean, I couldn't fault it in terms of the functionality that it delivered. It works really well. So for what it is, it's a 9 out of 10. It does what it says it's going to do, and you can't ask for more than that if you read the brochure and you don't know what you're buying. Now, value? Well, that's a tricky one, isn't it? Because it's not dirt cheap. It's not made in China, is it? And so that's one of the reasons it's not dirt cheap. Um, if you need something that's going to keep a close eye on your battery and a close eye on your altitude, then it's probably worth the money, I should think, because you don't want to fly unsafe. If you have a legal limit of altitude in your country, then you know, you need to know what altitude your model's at. If you're a club, you could all chip in and buy, it, or buy one of these and you could use it so that every member of the club can see what your altitude level or limit looks like from the ground and then they will be sure they're flying safely. Because, I mean, you heard in that, uh, that video that I went to 385 feet. And I didn't go to 400 feet, I went to 385 because I know what an AXN looks like at 400 feet. I've flown these things often enough with telemetry to know exactly what sorry, a 399 foot, 11 and a half inch AXN looks like. And so I flew up to that altitude, triggered the alarm, uh, or triggered the on-demand telemetry response, and it told me. And I was 15 feet out, but oh, what's that between friends? So there you go. Um, would I buy one? Yeah, I think if I had no other way of telling my altitude, and I didn't have gear that had telemetry built into it, I would probably buy one, because it's really just nice to know. It's just that safety factor. Even if you're flying um, bareback FPV, I'll probably use something like this for bareback FPV because it will tell me how much battery I've got left. I can use an OSD, but this would be just nice to give me that voice response because I can hear it. I, don't, I can still have the completely clear display on my bareback FPV setup. I won't have any numbers clogging up the screen and it will still tell me when my battery gets low. And I like that. That sounds really cool indeed. This transmitter doesn't really put out much power at all. It's really, really Weak 10 milliwatts, not going to damage or, or affect your video signal, it's not going to affect your radio control system, whether you're on 72 megs or whether you're on 2.4, or probably not even on UHF because it transmits so very briefly and at such a low power that um, I don't think it's going to knock out your UHF RC system. But I will be testing that when I put the RMLEC system in the Penguin. I'll put this in as well and we'll just see whether this causes the UHF system to glitch. It's going to be a really good test, isn't it? So there you go, that's it. I hope you enjoyed part two of the review. I apologize that the video footage of the flight wasn't better, but Barry has limited eyesight and limited hearing, so that's about as good as it gets. And um, I look forward to seeing you again. If you liked the video, thumbs up, comments, questions on the bit at the bottom, and see you again soon on RC Model Reviews.